Hi guys, welcome back to Cogni Solver. So in last two videos, we have seen client side validation and server side validation using HTMX, Python and Flask. During those uh, tutorial, basically, uh, there was some point when uh, we got some errors uh, like cause error, like cross origin resource sharing and then sometimes the server was not, not responding when we're trying to hit the API to validate the form on the server side then we were getting 405 that is method not allowed so how did i fix it what to do in in those scenarios and how to overcome those scenarios that we gonna you know learn about in this video so this video is basically the part of the previous two videos which i trimmed off so make the video little less lengthier and to the topic so that is why i planned it as a separate video uh, all itself so that you know we don't you know deviate from the topic in the previous two videos okay so let's talk about some course issues and some 405 uh, errors which which we get uh, typically from server side when calling an api so yeah let's try this now okay nothing happened why okay so we haven't started our server let's start this perfect so our server is running at port 5000 Now let's submit the request. Okay, it's not doing anything. Why? Let's see. Let's open the inspect mode. We have errors in console. Response status code 405. Why? Why we are getting 405? 405 is basically method not allowed. Uh, it comes, it, 405 only comes when you are trying to hit a a method which is not defined suppose i'm hitting from here i'm hitting hx post on the endpoint sign up but my server is not expecting a post on sign up in that case 405 will be coming but our server is expecting a post on slash sign up and we are sending a post on slash sign up then why it is 405 okay let's try again once more submit it says 405 again 405 method not allowed Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. So guys, there is a huge blunder happened from our side. You see, our server is running on the uh, localhost port 5000, but our UI is running at the localhost port 5500, right? And uh, in our HX post, we haven't defined that. We just defined the endpoint. So this will work only when both the servers are running on the same, same port. I mean, that cannot be possible, right? Which, since they are different, different servers, UI server is different and backend server is different. They, both of them cannot run on the same port so we have to we have to uh, uh, you know add the uh, ip address here so i just add this i just copy paste this one here okay http colon localhost 5000 sign up perfect i think now we'll get this so i could have easily you know trim this part from my video but i i don't want to do that because the sole purpose of this video is to make you learn that when you actually code what errors what issues can be arise and how it can be solved no one will tell you that they will just you know for their video purpose they will just make a video and just you know trim the part of the video where they have make a blunder they have made a blunder right they will just trim that part but no that's not how you will learn when you will start coding will when you will keep your hand dirty at that time multiple issues will come you need to know that okay this issue can come this issue may come so it is my responsibility to let you guys know that this these issues may come and this is how you can resolve it so you saw right we will we were getting 405 i the moment i saw 405 i knew that okay 405 comes only when the method is not supported by the server uh, from ui you are trying to hit at the end point for a different method which is not supported by server but in our case this method was same post method was uh, i was trying to hit post method and server was also expecting a post method on that endpoint but the endpoint was different right sorry the ip address was different or more specific the port number was different right so this is how you solve okay now let's uh, click submit so uh, hopefully we'll get a error message in in the bottom of the submit button okay what happened now okay now we are getting some error like uh, i think cross origin not wrong Mm, okay strict cross origin right so we need to resolve that we need to allow cross origin in our uh, backend server 
okay we, since the port number is different now so it's a, it's a cross origin right from one port to different port so by default it is uh, disabled in the browser because cross origin resource sharing is a uh, very uh, you know infamous attack that people do or the scammers or the attackers do via browser to your servers that is why to protect you this course uh, uh, security is there if you want to know about more about it you can tell me in the comment or maybe in future we'll make a video about course origin the more very specific video about course issue only cors cross origin resource sharing this will be a topic we'll create a separate video on that okay so we'll install pip install flask course okay now we'll have to import here uh, okay from flask course import course right and then we can have here course and then pass our app so it will allow the course right or if you want to allow only specific origins you can do one thing like uh, you can do course like this pass your app and what are resources you want to allow right uh, you can allow for maybe only this endpoint sign up on point and from all origins or here in the origin section you can have your endpoint like http this this endpoint right here if you are if you are putting star here then it will be like it will allow all the origins like all the ip addresses but if you define specific one sorry did not copy that okay. so we'll have http colon double slash okay already had http copied there okay 5500 and after that anything can come so we'll have this wildcard start there so after 5500 anything can be there right or maybe you can leave it there so it will take away anyways so these are two options right you can have this your whole app inside this course or you can have app and uh, you know allow uh, specific resources right so we'll go with the second one because that is a more secure one okay perfect now it's time to run our server and hopefully everything will be good okay great let's close this one now try submitting perfect so we got this error message all fields are required dynamically so right so that is how you solve your uh, course issues or 405 method not allowed errors in server side there are some points to be taken care of while uh, developing so you don't need to be panic first of all just follow these steps i followed here and in most of the cases you will be able to resolve the issues so that's all about this video guys let's meet you in the next one till then keep coding and keep learning